Tuesday, November 21st, 2023, Watkins Jail, Phoenix, Arizona, Earl, Ali, Anthony, Ryan, Sam, Vinny, Jeremy, I double-checked it is with a G, Matthew, Sammy, Jesus, Brandon, Avery, and James were in attendance today, 13 men in total. We introduced ourselves as sons of God, saying, Come, ye thankful people, and Earl said the opening prayer. We talked about different things we were thankful for, and while the men are thankful for the food provided at the jail, they had a good time poking fun at it. The jail food, aka slop, is sundry items suspended in a jello type substance. Years ago, we weren't allowed to show videos at the jail. Then about six or seven years ago, videos were allowed after they had been approved by the jail staff. Now I take videos whenever I want and no one says anything. I attribute this change to the wholesome quality of the videos on the churchofjesuschrist.org website. The staff already knows that anything I bring in from the church is okay. Today we watched Overcoming Challenges, a video I found on the church website, chtps colon forward slash forward slash www.churchofjesuschrist.org forward slash media forward slash video forward slash 2023-06-0060 overcoming challenges question mark language equals English. The men really liked the video. It talks about a man that was working on getting back to church while he was still smoking. The video sparked a lot of good conversation. A few parts that I liked were... Did I seriously just go across the street whenever I needed to smoke? I felt like being at church despite my weakness would be far better than staying away. Smoke breaks at church? I thought that's weird. But to my surprise, it felt like the better option rather than going home. Faith and cigarettes can coexist, right? Well, this went on for several years. I kept going to church, taking smoke breaks when I needed them. It was a long road. But you know what? Over time, two interesting things happened. First was that the more I attended church, the more I felt the Spirit. Even with my strange arrangement, I felt closer to God because I was truly doing my best. The second thing I noticed was that despite having moments when fellow members saw me smoking or smelled smoke at church, people were mostly pretty respectful. In fact, I feel like I judged them far worse than they ever ended up judging me. The guys really liked this part. Smiley face. The Watkins facility is designed different than any other jail or prison I've been at. Once the inmates are in the program room here, where we hold services, they can exit the room into the main pod area whenever they want. Just about every week, one or two men will leave class. Sometimes they come back, sometimes they don't. My attitude towards this phenomenon over the last few months has been, whatever. After watching the video, my outlook is a little more understanding. One man that left and came back today was James. After he left and came back, he sang along with the music videos. He didn't just sing under his breath. He sang so everyone else could hear him. At the end of class, James even offered to say the closing prayer. Smelling tobacco in one of our church buildings, 
especially if it is smelled during a worship service in the chapel, is one of the best smells you might ever smell there. Why? Because it means that a brother or sister who is struggling with their own variety of life's challenges is there, in the chapel, without shame, knowing where to turn for strength to overcome. Elder Didier F. Uchtdorf